In this video, I will tell you how to sing without straining your throat and also teach you effective exercises to sing freely. Try to make it as wide as possible, including the nasal and frontal cavities. Listen to the difference. This should not interfere with the singing process. It's my English channel. You also have my channel available in Spanish. Natalia Bliss, Clases de Canto desde cero. Welcome to my channel for beginner singing lessons. I am Natalia Bliss, a singer, pianist and vocal technique teacher. If you like my content and want to support me, subscribe to this YouTube channel, activate the notification bell so you don't miss my new videos, and follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Bliss Natalia. Every day I receive this question in your comments. Natalia, how do I sing without straining my throat? What you really need to understand is that physically we sing with our throat, or rather we sing with our larynx, because that's where our vocal cords are. But what we must avoid when singing is engaging the muscles that surround the vocal cords, or other muscles that have nothing to do with the phonation process. These muscles surrounding the larynx are swallowing muscles that should not interfere with the singing process. If this happens, we face a big problem because they cause pain and spasms in the glottis. And singing high notes becomes a battle. Step number one for learning to sing without straining your throat is to understand that we have different vocal registers. Your voice is not just the chest register. It's not just your speaking voice like this voice. But there is also the head register. The mixed voice. Yay! Vocal fry. Voz de susurro. Whisper voice. The first step is to start connecting these registers so that your voice becomes uniform. That's why it's so important to practice passaggio exercises or vocal transition exercises. For this exercise you need a straw. In Spain it's called pajeta. In other countries, popote, tubito, you get it. It's used for drinking, try to get the widest one possible. First just try blowing without any sound. Okay, now try making a sound on any comfortable note for you. Blow only through the straw. You'll also see that you can modulate in this way. This este exercise is, is very bueno good because it prevents que tus your vocal cords from getting tense, tense when producing sound and keeps your throat as relaxed as possible. Now what you need to do is sing this exercise between your chest voice and your head voice. Without the straw, it would sound like this. I start with my chest voice, my speaking voice and smoothly move up to my head register, my head voice. If you feel like there is a break between these two registers, don't worry, you just need a bit of practice. Try to keep your voice very relaxed. Try doing it with me. The male voice can start here from a C3 and the female voice from a C4. Seria. The goal is to keep your voice relaxed and feel how your registers are connected. Ooh. Try to breathe calmly. You don't need to worry about keeping your abdomen tense or pushing it out or in. The most important thing is to inhale without causing any tension, without lifting your chest or shoulders. And the inhalation should be deep but quick.
Don't take too long to inhale, because otherwise you might hyperventilate or even feel dizzy. Step number two. Relax your neck and your larynx. To do this, keep your back straight and your neck straight. Find the sensation of a wide and open throat, which you can achieve by thinking of the beginning of a yawn. Just the beginning. Feel how the throat has opened. It can also be the sensation of a surprise. En serio? No me digas. Or something hot in your mouth. You should always return to the sensation of an open and wide throat when you notice your throat is tense while singing. With this sensation of an open throat, we're going to do the lip trill exercise or the exercise with the rolled R. Esto suena así. O si quieres con la R. The male voice starts here. And the female voice here. Vamos. Let's go with the white throat. The feeling of surprise we breathe. Vamos. The male voice here. And the female voice here. Inhala. Masculina aquí. Y la femenina aquí. La garganta está relajada. Seguimos. Y una más. Another exercise that helps tremendously to remove throat tensions and constrictions is the exercise with a straw and a glass of water. You should only fill the glass halfway because otherwise it will be too difficult. Now we're going to blow into the water and modulate our voice. But through the straw. It sounds like this. You can even practice the melody of any song with this exercise to relax your throat. For example, happy birthday. So it's a very good tool to learn to sing freely. Another important thing you need to understand is that sound is air bouncing in the cavities of our body. The safest place where you should feel your voice is the mask, the resonators, the nasal cavity and the frontal cavity. Listen to the difference. <laughs> Feel my voice bouncing inside the nasal cavity. Another technique that will help you tremendously to place your voice is the twang technique. I recommend watching this video on how to sing high notes with twang. I hope you liked my video. Keep practicing, keep improving your vocal technique. And as always, I wish you to enjoy music and enjoy your voice. Kisses!